guitar still down? I guess. Wait a minute, I ain't got my ears plugged in. Now I gotta move my no, I don't have to move it that far. Yeah, I do too. You see I got me down? I got nothing. I've got my guitar Mike down. Too. Y'all hear me out there? It's not coming out out there, is it? Test you want to? We're no noise. <laughs> we don't have anything out. Testing one two. Testing one two. Hello. Hey. Hello. Mike test. <laughs> Hello. Mike test. It's working. He said come up with it a little bit. He can barely hear it. Oh. You're probably right. Mic test. Mic mic test. That's better. Mic test. I don't have mine plugged in my ear yet. What? What? Who all singing? I know Valerie singing one. Brenda singing one. You singing with Brenda? Who called me? I'd do it after you. Hurt my finger on the way down. I want you to tune it for me. <laughs> oh, I can do that. You got no, but I ain't getting nothing here. <laughs> I'm not getting any bass either. There it is. I got Terry. We'll get started here in just a second. I forgot open mic night tonight. So we'll be ready to go. Can you turn that up just a little bit, Miss Cheryl? How many of y'all here tonight? <clears throat> Raise your hand if you'd like to hear Mr. Tommy Yarbrough sing a song tonight. <laughs> hey, he's acting like he couldn't hear me good, but all of a sudden I come through loud and clear. <laughs> Everything cleared up. Anybody? We're going to have a little open mic night. We're going to get started, as always, with our prayer requests and then turn it over to the band and whoever wants to sing. Last time it went real good. That's the fourth Wednesday. I forget about that sometimes. But either way, we're here, ready to go. Shirley Hill House, we go down our prayer request. Excuse me. Shirley Hill House. Barry Powell, Debbie Freeman, Sherry Jackson, Unspoken, Meredith and Tommy Yarbrough, Stephen Bonner. We'll open it up. <laughs> Miss Donna. Mm-hmm. 
Mr. Tracy, okay. Unspoken and Mr. Tracy. Tracy's here, right? Okay, good. Lori, Miss Pam, she okay, Miss Pam? Yeah. Okay. I texted her the other day, hadn't heard from her, making sure she's all right. <coughs> Miss Lori, Curtis, Horn. Yes, what's that? <laughs> yes, ma'am, H-O-R-N-E, I got it. Lori, Joan Ferguson, Hope Allison is writing in English. Mine looks like it's in another language. <coughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. We'll do it. Miss Meredith? Linda Bass? Linda Bass? Ryan? You got one? Okay. Miss Eddie? Steve Shaw? Blood sugar drop. Steve Shaw? Miss Cheryl? Michelle Wood, that's right. We've been keeping. And Lufkin, or they did give us some medicine. Cody said, so that's it. That's good. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> Brittany Lewis. All right. <coughs> Michelle. See, I'm throwing you all, Cheryl, Charlotte. <laughs> she was like, I'm not going to say anything yet. <laughs> Look back at Miss Cheryl. What's her last name? Inner. All right. W-L and then Inner. Okay. Pray for that family. Yes. Mr. Terry's bunch, too. Everybody's. We all need some prayer. Amen. Tony? Scott? <coughs> you walking like a fairy, brother. <coughs> I know what a man walks like when his back ain't quite right. I, I do it. <coughs> Amen. Pray for Scott. Anybody else? Good looking bunch. Allison? Band Brandy Kindred? Yes, and her family. Miss Brandy sings for us some on Wednesdays, you know. Pray for her family. <clears throat> right down here at the red light. Somebody did mention that, so. Amen. Anybody else? I miss nobody. Valerie? It's good. <clears throat> Amen. Thyroid, we pray for that, but a good results on an MRI. All right, <coughs> Miss Linda. That's right, Miss Kathy's sister. What's her name? Carol. All right, Miss Cheryl. Miss Cheryl's got a praise report. <coughs> Went to the heart doctor and everything looked good. So, amen, amen for that. Thank God for that. He takes care of his own. Amen. Miss Alice, praise report. Lay it on us. Oh man, who put that up there? That that screen makes me look like a midget. <laughs> Hey, how many of y'all, now these ladies are going to notice this. If they haven't, they're going to notice it. How many of you notice that camera up there changes everything? It makes me look this tall and this wide, which I don't, I, I couldn't give a hoot. I'm a dude. How many of y'all ladies notice that? Oh, I didn't even have to say anything. The camera makes you look six inches shorter and six inches wider. 
But people probably watch it from far off and say, boy, that's a, that's a, that's a sweet little old short fat pastor. <laughs> So I want to put it in the budget to get a new camera that shows us normal, all right? I, <laughs> I don't care, but I think the ladies had raised the money to pay for the camera that's seen on the stage. <laughs> Doesn't bother me a bit, but anyway, I just wondered if y'all did notice that, but all right. All right, we'll get a praise report about me with a cat. Yeah, I was looking, sitting on the ground the other day. I was wore out. I don't know where I went. I went to Rusk and uh, Trim 10 and... I was just sitting on the ground, stretching my back, looking at sheep and all this, a cow or two, and a stinking cat got in my lap, and she, bam, popped that picture real quick. <laughs> but it was a friendly cat. I didn't mind, so it was funny. Anyway, this, let's go to the Lord. You know, aren't you thankful that God knows our needs? He wants us to enjoy life and have fun. He knows our needs and our problems and our struggles, but we're still supposed to take them to him. Lord, we just come to you in Jesus' name. and. We lift up every request tonight, those that are hurting and suffering and need healing, those that need peace and your comfort and your strength. We just speak that over every person that was lifted up here tonight on this list. We ask you to work mightily on their behalf in Jesus' name. Everybody said? Amen. All right. Run over some announcements, and we'll turn these fellas loose. If you're a visitor, welcome to Jasper County Cowboy Church. Uh, we do things different. We don't pass the hat. We have little wooden churches in the back and one in the foyer on the right as you leave. That's where you'll give your tithes and offerings. And uh, thank you for what you're giving. You're all, everybody's faithful giving because we're able to do all the cool things we get to do at Jasper County Cowboy Church. We do a lot of unique things. We feed over 100 people every Wednesday. And that brings me to the sale barn. Who would wear caps like this? I wear these caps everywhere I go. And uh, if you get one at Jasper County Cowboy uh, church caps and t-shirts if you get one in the sale barn they send you five dollars to the hospitality team to keep us eating good food on wednesday nights amen nursery take advantage of the nursery if you got one in the nursery be sure and uh, check the uh, displays morning devotions be sure and watch that every um, week morning weekday at 6 40 i do a little devotion um, let's see I'm going to go quickly and get these guys. Directory, Miss uh, Meredith, anything we're missing on that? Make sure you get your pictures. If you hadn't made your picture, next Sunday is our day, uh, last day. Make sure you can get that. <coughs> Ian, looking forward to the new directory. we got about 45 new families. Is that right, Miss Meredith? More than that, so hey, that's that's a good thing. Amen. Orange County, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Orange County Cowboy Church. They're in search of a pastor. So if you know someone, I did get a phone call and hook somebody up. So you never know. You have not because you ask not. So if you know somebody interested, uh, church got an arena, everything just like we do. Youth leaders. Mr. Cody is looking for people to volunteer to help organize with the teenagers and the youth. So if you're interested, God puts that on your heart. Be sure and. Uh, let us know. Miss Rachel got me a list here. I'm going quick. It's only 8.08. We're good. Sunday, February 27th, we're having a handicapable rodeo meeting. That'll be this coming Sunday, right after church. Uh, if you are wanting to help, please be sure and be here. Miss Debbie, come on up here. Hey, Miss Cheryl, can you turn this mic up a little bit? Miss Miss Debbie's going to... Miss Debbie's going to start us off with a song. Um, <laughs> Tell us a little bit. No, I done got hot in here with this vest on. You can just get down here. Uh, tell us a little bit. I was asking her about the Handicap Rodeo. How many of you never been to a Handicap Rodeo? Man, it's going to be awesome. We were concerned about our numbers. Uh, last week I was on the phone with Rachel, maybe week before last. We were already at 200 kids, so it's it's going to be very, very fruitful, and we don't know where, the, where it's going to end. So tell us how it's going. That'll be April the 8th. It's our next huge event, so it'll be here before we know it. So share with us what's going on, Miss Debbie. Well, we've been on the phone talking to a lot of the schools. Um, it's been kind of slow coming in. You know, a lot of them are still with COVID classes, and a lot of them are not having classes on Friday. But as of today, I think we're up around – the ones that have already sent their forms in over 400 students. So um, 
there's like I think 20, when I say 24 schools, we're all the way from High Island, which High Island came a couple of years or several years ago, and, and they're coming back. So that's a good ways down there. And we're all the way up to Wales. They're coming. So um, you're right there. We, um, we you know, these, these schools are calling in, and they're saying, we are so glad y'all are having it. The kids are missing it. They're asking us every year, when are y'all coming back? When are you going to have it? So this is something that's really big for them. Um, it's geared just for special needs children. If you've never been, you need to come if, if, if you can because it'll, it'll really just almost break your heart to see these kids. They are so excited to have everything is geared for their needs, the booths, the, oh, the horseback ride, and the wagon rides. We have the Bucky Bull. We have face painting. I think we have like 24 different things for them to do this year at the special needs. Um, we have a, from Garrison, we're having Rose Ranch. They're bringing their all their mini farm animals in, so we'll have a petting zoo for them. Uh, we're having Z Jasper the zebra. He's going to be back for to come for the kids. So um, if you can come Sunday, please, after church. If not, just sign up. We've got lots of it. It takes a lot of people and a lot of planning to do it. So y'all just come out and help, and we'll get going. Meeting this Sunday? What this Right after church, we're going to be having a meeting. It's just a follow-up meeting. Um, and it's also to get everybody to sign up if you want to do a booth. It takes a lot of people to get these booths. I mean, the booths are done. Everything's there for you. You just have to be there to run it, you know, and maybe do some little decorations. The more festive we make it for these kids, you know, the better it is. And when you see their little eyes light up, your work's, you know your work's going to be well worth it. So try to come Sunday if you can. If not, get with me, Charlotte, or somebody on the children's team, and, and we'll get you signed up somewhere. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Debbie. All right, still working on some sponsors, so if anybody wants to participate in the Handicapper Radio, let us know. Uh, that meeting will be this Sunday after church, right after church. Uh, March the 13th, we'll have a horseless rodeo. The arena team met. We're going to have a horseless rodeo. This event will include family fun activities, mutton busting, horseshoes, washers, etc., Come out for a fun, family-centered play day at JC3. So we're going to have a horseless rodeo. It's going to be fun. Sunday, March the 20th, we're having a church-wide child protective training class following the service. That's required for those 18 and over that are working with children, whether it's the handicapped rodeo or cowboy camp. Please sign up in the foyer. Everybody say in the foyer. Just so you remember, stop by, sign up for that protect, uh, child protective training class. Sign up in the foyer <coughs> if you plan on coming. There will be uh, alternate days to sign up for if you cannot make it on March the 20th. Miss Debbie is looking for a few items for the Handicap or Rodeo, 12 old cowboy hats, old hat bands, and a bubble machine. Um, <coughs> Mr. Terry, the Barnett's service, celebration of life. I just found out earlier. Saturday at 2 p.m., uh, and visitation is at uh, Stringer, Griffith, that's right, uh, from 5 to 8. But the service will be here this coming Saturday at 2 p.m. So uh, if you can be here, please do so. If not, please cover that entire family in prayer. And uh, we're ready to go. Ready to turn you guys loose? I don't know if you want to do that. They was talking about rock and roll earlier. Little ZZ Top. Zeppelin. Get them. I'm good. What are you doing? What is the popping? Check one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, one, two, one, two. Make sure. Will you run that slider that says mains up some more? Check one, two, one, two, one, two. Ooh, that's a little loud. One, two, check. Now, you, now you're gravelly in my ear. How's it sound out there? Sounds like Ed. Sounds like Ed needs to be turned up, turned down, turned up. <laughs> Now, see, you you got to understand this, James. I'd think of your mama for a minute. Wow. This means good, we're good. 
This man's turning it up. This man's turning it down. This <laughs> man's please him. <laughs> I had to. He still sound real gravelly in my ear. Does it sound gravelly out there on his? What is gravelly? <laughs> Yeah, we're working on that. We know it's a work in progress. We know you're going. Check one, Ronnie B. Check two. Turn, turn one, two. One, two. One, two. Oh. Check. Testing he pulled one, it two. off. It was too hot. Testing one, two. One, two. Hello. Check <laughs> one. Down. <laughs> two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Five. Not coming in? Six. He said you're not coming I'm down. I'm running out of numbers. Hurry. You ain't coming down. Okay. We'll see what happens. Try it, Rainey. Testing one, two. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Go, Susie. Testing. Mic test one, two. Mic test one, two. TW. We're seeing up on him. Try Susie. Test mic one. Try it again, Susie. Testing, testing, mic test. There you go. Yours is too loud. Hello, darling. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> that was for my wife. Can y'all hear this guitar? Good, because I can't. You ain't got your ear plugged in. Yeah, I know. Check one, two. All right, Ryan. This was just for you. And How many of you ever heard of Dan Seal? Don't ask again, Ryan. About six of you. Okay. I didn't know it until I got here this evening, but I was in a little bit of trouble because I hadn't done this song in a little while. And Ryan's been worrying Ed to death because I hadn't done this song in a little while. So we're going to do it. Wednesday night's a good night to do it. It is. And if I forget the words, you just jump right in there, okay? <laughs> no. A campfire, some coffee from a tin cup in my hand. Sure warms the fingers when it's cold. A playing an old guitar, a friend I understand. Sure soothes the wrinkles in my soul a sleeping in the moonlight a blanket for a bed leaves a peaceful feeling in my mind waking up in the morning with an eagle overhead makes me want to fly away before my time. And I think God must be a cowboy at heart. He made wide open spaces from the start. He made grass and trees and mountains and a horse to be a friend and trails the little cowboys home again. Not life, big cities is all right for a while. Sure makes you feel good when you're there but this country's so 
pretty It goes on and over miles And takes away my trouble and my care And I think God must be a cowboy at heart He made wide open spaces from the start he made grass and trees and mountains and a horse to be a friend and trails to lead old cowboys home again and trails to lead old cowboys home again I turn you down my ear Turn you down in my ears. <laughs> Y'all ain't never gonna happen. <laughs> it's just like telling me, who, what? Do you know what a woman's thinking? That be like trying to make up your mind. <laughs> yes, I, I just did let see. that go right on by. Did you see that? <laughs> I ain't scared of mine, but I respect her a whole bunch. <laughs> Huh? You can sing this one with us. I don't know who hosts tomorrow. This is mine. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a blood stain cross where my Savior set me free. Constant reminder the price he paid for me. Can see it in my dreams. Can see it when I'm away. It's a constant reminder the love He has for me. No matter where I look, no matter what I do, He's always there to remind me. Love will pull me through And every time I stumble Every mistake I make He's right there to catch me No matter what it takes There's a blue sky hands that held him to the tree There's tears in his cheek And no shape for me It's even in my dreams It's even when I'm away The constant reminder The love he has for me no matter where I live, no matter what I do, He's always there to remind me, His love will pull me through. And every time I stumble, every mistake I make, He's right there to catch me. 
no matter what it takes. Well, there's a book of his words. He left as a guide for me through the promised promises. Those who choose to be free, he's gone now to heaven to be paid praise for me.